Hey there, welcome to my channel Anand here. And in today's little video, short video, we are going to take a look on how to import presets or banks in our beloved Fractal Audio FM3. It's quite simple, so I'll show you step by step what to do and what not to do, of course. So, let's start. First of all, go to the Fractal Audio forum and you will search for the place where the presets are. You'll see in the FM3 discussion topic there and then scroll down somewhere. You'll see there it is. This is from last year, but they are still the same till now. So let me download them again. Here it is and search for the factory presets there they are download goes very fast oh, it's done already so double check yep there it is all right let's go so to import a complete bank you need fractal bot so let's open fractal bot select device again FM3 of course, make sure the input and the output ports are also selected on FM3. You can see firmware 6.2 and choose the place in downloads. You can see in the file all the all banks or they are all split it in bank A, bank B and C. I will just import bank A where all the amps are. Send, push it and then you will see a warning sign and where to import. I'll select the destination in bank D because the others are, I'm not using any of these presets, so I just take the last one and just send it. There we go. It goes actually pretty fast because I'm not using any of the factory presets. I'm just using five or six presets of my own and that I can do all my bands. So I just deleted all the factory presets. If you need very good presets, I can really advise you to look at Austin Body's uh, Live or the Gold Package, I think it is for the FM Freeze. Amazing amp settings and all balanced so that you don't have any level problems. So this goes fast as you can see. Done. And it says it has been sent. So okay, and let's close Fractal Bot. Now let's open FM Free Edit. And let's go to the presets. You could do the refresh after firmware. I'll show you why. If I go to bank D, you see it's still empty. How is that possible? It didn't import or what? No. If you just refresh after every firmware, then you'll see what's happening down. It's refreshing everything from the FM3 and after refreshing the cabinets, it will also refresh the presets. And that will make sure that the presets which we imported, the whole bank A into bank D of the FM3, it will be then visible. Wait for it. Look, there it goes. We are at the factory cabinets, the names and then the user and here it's reading all the presets. So let's make sure, check it if it's there now. Let's scroll to bank D and there we have them. All the banks, at least all the banks, bank A, all the amps in its setting. So. For example, if you take Friedman, there it is. Let's just export this preset so that we can import it. I'll show you how to import the preset. Export, I do it in downloads. It's done. And for example, choose an empty preset. In my case, preset 18, for example, there it is. And then presets, import preset. It is one way to do it find the preset there it is 
and open and it's there you can save it if you don't save it it won't be saved of course so you will lose it what we can do also empty preset and then I go to my export the preset or from whoever you have a preset download it from somewhere take it and just drag it into the menu and it also imports this way a preset and you can save it so two ways both very simple and hopefully this explains it there we have the two presets that's all you can close it or refresh sometimes and then especially if you have moved around with presets it's a good idea to sometimes refresh your presets and then you will see the right names everything that's it all right thanks for watching i hope it helps you out with importing whole banks or single presets from whoever you downloaded it it's nothing else than this step by step quite simple thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you around bye bye